Boxing Opinions 100. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave your comment down below. Uh, this was a fight between Isaac Lowe and Nick Ball. Uh, this turned out to be a very, very entertaining fight simply because of the statue of the boxers. When I say the statue of the boxers, I'm saying like the height of each opponent. Uh, Nick Ball being the smaller opponent, Isaac Lowe uh, being the taller opponent. So when a fight of that magnitude happens, it's only one way that each fighter can almost fight. Like Isaac Lowe would have to keep the fight from the outside, Nick Ball would have to get in the inside. But Isaac Lowe tasted Nick Ball's power early, getting hit with a hard left hook with Nick Ball down in the cross position, coming up with a Mike Tyson-like left hook, dropping Isaac Lowe. But when I, the fight, as the fight progressed on, Isaac Lowe seemed to start walking through uh, Nick Ball's punches. So I thought that Isaac Lowe was turning the tide. But every now and then, uh, Nick Ball would clip him with a hard shot. So just a mere accumulation of punches uh, adding up each round after round. But it was a very, very strange ending. Uh, Nick Ball threw Isaac Lowe into the corner. And uh, I didn't think it was any situation. And, and Isaac Lowe was just stuck there as if he had been hit by a punch like he was dazed. But Nick Ball looked at him for a minute and then went up to him and stepped to the right and sized him up and hit him with a hard left uppercut, debilitating Isaac Lowe. But let me know your comments about Isaac Lowe and Nick Ball and uh, how you thought the fight went. And this is Boxing Opinions 100. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. And I'm out.